say you just eat plant foods, rice, corn, oranges, potatoes, and so on. Well, all you will do that gut wall is it'll go out and reach out into that food supply, and it'll grab that calcium and pull that calcium in very efficiently into the blood, and it will always meet your calcium needs. Now, how do I know it always meets calcium needs? Because I have searched. The World Health Organization has searched. Uh, the United States government has searched for a single case of calcium deficiency caused by a low calcium diet. And we have all come up empty handed. There has never been a case of dietary calcium deficiency ever reported in the world literature. There is no such disease. And yet, and yet, billions of people live on diets that contain no dairy products, no tongues, no calcium pills, and they grow normal adult skeletons. How could they do that? You wouldn't believe that would be possible if you listened to the dairy industry, the calcium pill industry, would you? But, but your own observations say that what they're teaching you cannot be true. So if you find a case of dietary calcium deficiency, in other words, not enough calcium in a diet causes a disease, I'm the first one that knows, please, so I get to report it in the medical journal and become world famous. Isn't it? People caught in the tank and getting cooked. Poor fish, man. Go vegan. We were standing in Thailand. It's just basic. Bare bones accommodation. Uh, that's the window, man. Yeah, that's the shower in there. It's the back door there. It's a mosquito place. And we use big bottles of water. So that way you don't have to continually you know, waste bottles. Just fill them up and use them again. And check out this durian hole I just got. Certified organic farmer direct. This is what I'm talking about. Look at these babies, man. This is a bad boy Montong. Man, they're so heavy. I can't even get them out. Let's get this these tire tubes off. Really good, effective way to keep your fruit in the trailer. Look at that, man. That's a Montong. It's bigger than my head. We're eating, we're eating durians bigger than our head, man. Come and join us in Thailand sometime. Get some montong into you. Some montong protein. Yeah. <laughs> More? Hey, let's snatch. <laughs> you can't eat my hand. Question. Dr. McCullough says that fruit is bad because the fructose in fruit converts to uric acid. I checked out McCullough's site. He's got some okay things to say. Most of it's just selling product. Don't eat fruit because
it's got vitamin C in it, but it's got fruit just in it. So buy my vitamin C, but don't eat fruit. <laughs> it's like what? Mother Nature got it wrong. I got it right. You say anyway. So Dr. McCullough, he quotes Dr. Richard Johnson. Richard Johnson, probably lovely guy. I never met him, but he's fat. He's got a beer gut, double chin, bubble butt from eating steak and eggs, and he says, you know, like fruit is bad because uh, um. You just uh, converts to uric acid, uh, but BS, man. My urate load, which is uric acid, is 0.17, which is under the normal cutoff in the Australian RDAs. So if fruit converted to uric acid, I should have super high uric acid. I should have gout because I eat up to 70 bananas a day. I eat more fruit than almost anyone in Australia. So that one's just beyond belief. The fat person telling you don't eat fruit because it converts to uric acid. <laughs> Then you put get someone with gout, which is too much uric acid, put someone on a diet of just 100% fruits and greens, super amounts of fruit, and if you have gout, the gout disappears. Even if you put on a low-fat, high-carb vegan diet, the gout disappears. Oh, my God. Anyways, next one is, uh, what, do you th what is your thoughts on raw milk and is it healthy? Do you consume raw milk? Personally, I don't consume any milk. I'm a grown man. I mean, some people say I'm still a little boy, but, you know, I have a... <laughs> I'm a grown man, so for me, drinking milk, if I wanted to drink milk, I'd ring up my mum and say, hey mum, you know, can you come around and lift up your blouse and I can have a, have a sucky sucky on your breast because um, you know, I need some milk. Come on, we're adults now, you know, and uh, if I'm not going to suck milk from my mother's breast like I did as a child, I'm certainly not going to suck the milk or drink the milk that comes from an animal or, you know, thousands of animals because... In the big milk tank, it comes from hundreds or thousands of animals. So you're drinking milk from, you know, thousands or hundreds of animals. Raw or otherwise, it's, it doesn't make sense. I mean, sure, raw milk is better than cooked milk, pasteurized milk, but it still has the problems of milk itself. The problems being cholesterol, bovine leukemia virus, bovine lungworm, or, you know, goat lungworm. All your pesticides, herbicides, you know, larvicides and all these vermicides that you know, even organic farmers do feed their cows. I know that for a fact because if you're an organic farmer and you get a bovine lung worm condition in your herd, what are you going to do? You got to you know use some sort of harsh you know chemical agent because you can you're going to lose a lot of money. It's incredible. Um, so yeah, raw milk, no way. It's uh, you know I don't recommend it personally. Just all those factors, you know, you got all that, all those. Uh, you know, all those parasites and leukemia viruses and all these things. I mean, ask your local organic or biodynamic farmer what they do about bovine leukemia virus. A lot of them will say, uh, <laughs> what? Or some of them will say, how do you know about that? Who told you that? No, it's fine. You know, it's never been proven. <laughs> never been proven. <laughs> anyway, so no, I don't drink milk. I don't recommend people do drink milk. And even if it's from a goat or a horse or whatever, if you're going to drink milk, Drink it from your sister, drink it from your auntie, drink it from your mum, otherwise don't drink it at all. That's all I have to say about the milk one. Thanks.